light. Does it trouble you? If it wasn't enough to close the breach, what use is it? You did everything we asked of you. And it still didn't work. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Clearly you have something in mind. We do. May I present Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. Such as they are. We lost many soldiers in the valley, and I fear many more before this is through. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Some are calling you the Herald of Andraste, and that frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options, Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the Temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading? Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. 
It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? It's a little unsettling. <laughs> I'm sure the Chantry would agree. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. So if I wasn't with the Inquisition... Well, let's be honest, they would have censured us no matter what. And you not being here isn't an option. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far, and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. Why would someone from the Chantry help a declared heretic? I understand she's a reasonable sort. Perhaps she does not agree with her sisters. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Have you kept in touch with our friends in Lady Esterly's estate? Several bards will play for her tomorrow night. We will have names soon enough. of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's an honor to meet you, my lord. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's high town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. I'm starting to worry about these stories that everyone's heard. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. They only say you're the last great hope for Thetis. Oh, wonderful. The Hinterlands are as good a place as any to start... fixing things. We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horsemaster. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there, too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but... they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose.
I've news, sir. What is it? This may be worthwhile. That may be worth investigating. Mother Giselle ought to be around here somewhere. Inquisition forces! They're trying to protect the refugees. Looks like they could use a hand. Kill that warrior! Hold. We are not apostates. I do not think they care, Seeker. We are not Templars. We mean you no harm. Doesn't look like they're listening. Be ready. More coming our way. There are mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't... Don't touch me, Mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? <laughs> Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Mother Giselle? I am. And you must be the one they are calling the Herald of Andraste. 
Not through any choice of mine. <laughs> we seldom have much say in our fate, I'm sad to say. So you agree with them? I don't presume to know the Maker's intentions, for any of us. But I did not ask you to come simply to debate with me. Then why am I here? I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people, senselessly taken from us. And that's an excuse. They're making things worse. They don't know that. This is my point. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to believe. That won't just make it worse. Could it be worse than it is? Probably, yes. Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. The power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. You make it sound simple. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by fate or sent to help us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call as they will listen to no other. You could build the Inquisition into a force that will deliver us or destroy us. I will go to Haven and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry who will be amenable to a gathering. It is not much, but I will do whatever I can. Corporal Vale is coordinating the Inquisition's efforts in the area. We should speak with him. with the Inquisition. Corporal Vale, thanks for your help. The Majors and Templars don't seem to care who gets caught in their war. The refugees here are in dire need of help. If the war doesn't kill them, cold or starvation will. You were concerned about refugees starving? Yes. Many of them brought food, but they expected to be home by now, or safe in a city. There's a hunter up the hill who had some ideas. Is there anything we can do to help people deal with the cold? I asked the Inquisition to send blankets. You'd think I was asking for a wagon of raw lyrium. A recruit named Whittle is trying to make what we can bring in last. If you have any ideas, talk to him across the road. What other problems do these refugees face? We've got some injuries that go beyond stitches and elf fruit. I know healers are in short supply, but if you can find someone in Redcliffe to help us, it would save a lot of lives. 
What can you tell me about the rebel mages? The real rebels are up north in Redcliffe, dug in and taking care of their own. The ones out here are just apostates, locked up in the circles all these years, and now they've gone mad with power. The rebels in Redcliffe have washed their hands of them. I wish we could do the same. What can you tell me about the Templars? All the Templars were called to Val Royo not long ago. These bastards ignored the order. Now they're killing rebel mages, along with any refugees they think are mage sympathizers. Every Templar I've ever known has wanted to protect the common folk. These men defile their order's good name. What can you tell me about the man who's supposed to be getting horses for the Inquisition? Horsemaster Dennett. He lives on a farm to the west. Tough old fella. We haven't heard from him. Best we can tell, he's holed up until the Majors and Templars are done killing each other. Farewell. And you as well. What do you need to keep these refugees warm? Blankets, warm clothes, all of it. These poor sods lost everything when the mages and the Templars went crazy. If we were in a village, I could just pinch a blanket off a clothesline and be fine. Out here, I'm sure the apostates have plenty of supplies, just haven't been able to find them. Farewell. And see you. People need food. There are rams out in the hills. Good eating, cooks easy, and no lords around to kill you for poaching. Too dangerous to go hunting now. More likely to find mages than mutton. Good luck. Luck won't put fat on your ribs. Let me know Somebody, my wife needs help. What's wrong with your wife? She gets sick when the weather's foul. Can't catch her breath like cobwebs in her lungs. Our son Hindle makes a potion that lets her breathe. He's the only one who can make it, but he's joined that cult in the hills. Please, get to him and tell him what's wrong. W without that potion, she'll die. Good to have commerce restored. Like many goods here.
mages and Templars and innocent people caught in the middle. Some things never change. A Templar, I believe. Hopefully the Inquisition can find some way to help these people. What 
Watch yourself. Bandits up ahead. Or something, anyway. They're blocking the road. You don't think they're bandits? Bandits wait until people are vulnerable. Then hit them fast so nobody escapes. These bastards show themselves too early. They care more about driving people away than taking loot. They're either stupid, or they're more than just bandits. And they're too well armed for stupid. What can you tell me about the attackers on the road? Several groups. Some of them with bows. They've got better armor than most around here. It's too many for us. If you head out there, careful you don't get flanked. They don't take prisoners. Thanks for the warning. Bandits ahead! I doubt that's the last of them. According to my research, the ancient elves may have set up wards near here. If we can find the artifacts they used, it may help strengthen this area against tears. Peace. I am no danger to you. My name is Miris. By your weapons, I see you come ready for battle. Perhaps we face a common enemy in these demons. Are you fighting the demons on your own? Fighting the demons is pointless. There will always be more. And I have no means of closing the rifts. But I have heard of elven artifacts that measure the veil. They may tell us where new rifts will appear. I was not expecting so many demons, however. I believe one of the artifacts is nearby. Can you help me reach it? It sounds worth investigating. Thank you. It shouldn't be too much farther ahead. Thank you for joining me. I do not think I could have done this alone. How did you come to be here? I was, am, um, first of Clan Venen. I left in service of my clan and saw that great tear in the veil on my journey. I know more of magic and the veil than any Shemlin, so I hope to help. Maharal, Dalen. I... we should keep moving. of an artifact nearby. There. If we activate that crystal, it should react to the strength of the veil. Yes. The wards are helping to strengthen the veil. This area should be safer for travelers now. Well, that should prove useful. And it seems the ancestors left something for me as well. Interesting. I believe our alliance is concluded. Go in peace, stranger. Mahalani, Maglandeval, the Enasalim. I. Perhaps you're right. Here, take it. Go with Mithal's blessing.
Something is odd about those runes, but I cannot determine what. What manner of fire is that? I have heard of this, but never seen it before. It is called Veil Fire. It is a form of sympathetic magic. A memory of flame that burns in this world where the veil is thin. The runes are interacting somehow with the flame from the torch. A weapon enchantment. This could be quite useful. Retreating. We must pursue. Decent spot to camp.
bandits ahead. Nice work taking care of the bandits. Corporate Vale will want to hear the good news. Good to have commerce restored. I've many goods here if you wish to trade. Travel safely. Your kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Commander! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. If the proper authority hadn't completely failed, the Conclave wouldn't have been needed. So you suggest I blame the Chantry 
and exalt a murderer? What of justice? That won't help restore order in the here and now. <laughs> order will never be restored so long as this rebellion is allowed to fester. Remind me, why are you allowing the Chancellor to stay? Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. The Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royo, however. The Mages and Templars are fighting, even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. Exactly why all this should be left to a new divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Or we'll be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. How widespread is the violence between mages and Templars? Impossible to say. Your organization flouting the Chantry's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between mages and Templars is renewed with interest. Well, let's hope we find solutions and not a cathedral full of chancellors. The stuff of nightmares. Mark, if you will. I'm certain the Maker is less amused. My creator, judge me whole. Find me well with the Search him in aid, which is to verify Touch that the infection is Did you see the message I sent? Yes, thank you. At your service. Let's see what we have.
All right. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. You want me to walk into a pit of vipers, and you ask me that? They're not vipers just because they like to hiss. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But what? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now, we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. The city still mourns. Just a guess seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. My Lord Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. They wish to protect the people? From us? Protect them from the blasphemous Herald of Andraste, I'd say. Surely they cannot think such a thing. Why not? They wouldn't be the only ones. You think the Order's return to the Fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense. Not after all that's occurred. We're doing all this to get help with the Breach. Maybe this is our chance to get the Templars on our side. Perhaps. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are... delayed. As you say, my lady.
Templars will help us as they always have. Good people of Val Royo, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of her murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste, claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet, no servant of anything beyond his selfish greed. We came here in peace, simply to talk. And this is what you do. I implore you, let us sit down together to deal with the real threat. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Still yourself. She is beneath us. What's the meaning of this? Her claim to authority is an insult, much like your own. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet, you should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. If you're not here to help the Chantry, then you just came to make speeches. I came to see what frightens old women so, and to laugh. But Lord Seeker, what if he really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing. And the Inquisition, less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. Do you think he can be reasoned with? I hope so. If not him, there are surely others in the Order who don't feel as he does. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. <laughs>